that Scalise's condition has been upgraded from critical to serious. He's an honorary captain of the LSU Tigers. And that baseball will be sent to Steve Scalise. Time out, time out. And tonight, we'll show you the 3-2. Ball four, and a good job by Taylor Walls, leadoff man aboard. The AA tournament. 1-0 fastball, driven deep to center field. Zach Watson going back, going back at the wall. It's gone! A two-run home run for Busby. That's big-time power here at TD Ameritrade to dead central. And very similar to that triple that you were talking about that he had hit at Florida State. Dylan Busby is as streaky as can be, and if he starts this College World Series out and continues to swing the bat, Florida State very dangerous. Leading scoring team in the College World Series. Pitch up in the zone. They're aggressive. We saw Busby, who continues to lead the team in homers. This is 15th of the season. To help LSU. Catcher is Cal Raleigh, bats now, and hits one to center field. Watson came in, now he goes back, drifts towards left field, and he makes the play. To 225, 112 innings and 139 strikeouts. And a rare walk from Tyler Holton to Antoine Duplantis, and that brings up the bet. Runner goes, check swing, did he go? Yes, he did, ball got away, and Dykeman hustles down to first. Ball comes out of the catcher's hand. Here comes the runner from first, and they score a run on what was ultimately a strike. How about that? Duplantis was running from first to second. Check swing, strike three, ball got away, down to first, and then the ball came out of Raleigh's hand, and Duplantis kept running the bases. And Dykeman right here, he had to go from the get-go. He stayed back. They asked for an appeal at third base. Quickly, the third base umpire said yes, but give a lot of credit right there to Antoine Duplantis. Did not stop, did not hesitate whatsoever. Catches napping. Uh, Tyler Holton, and that can't not happen. This is something that cannot happen for the Florida State Seminoles and the LSU tight. Watson pops this one up to shallow right field where Stephen Wells camps under it and makes the play. Well, we saw the convention of Mississippi State. It's facing Matt Henderson, the second baseman. Breaking ball to short through the hole, and he's aboard. Pretty good piece of hitting on a good breaking ball. There's no chirping. Nailed it. 0 for 1. You got plenty of time to make up. Wang solid this time around. For him from yeah. last year, he burst out of the scene. Ripped into left center field. That one gets down. And a good start for LSU here in the bottom of the second. That's Nick Coombs, the junior 5'11", Throw down as Coombs goes, and he's out by a mile. Yep. Cal Raleigh, that was easy pickings for him. The program's playing, the crowds grow. That one line past the second baseman and into right field. Now watch, we're on our way to second base and heading to second base and in with a double. Good hustle. Right, good Taylor Walls, time. the shortstop, third things off. Time. Taylor Walls working the count to the foul. That one is ripped. That's into center field. Busby picks up his third RBI as Wall scores from second, and it's a 2-2, 3-1 ball game. How about Walls and Busby at the top of the order? You know, I, I think it's interesting. So we, so we talk about Florida State. We talk about how patient they are, but the runner goes. Throw down to second. Three. Stolen base. That's a great call by Mike Martin Jr. at third. Omaha. And with the injuries, it all went south for them quickly. Jack with that much. Way outside. Wild one there. Down to third base. And good hustle. That's great base running by Busby right there. Not giving in. And now you're 90 feet away from. He stays. Not going. Oh, strikes out. out. And he is out number two. 
We'll see one and two. He'd love to get out of this without any more runs, and he will with a strikeout of Mendoza. And that does it for the inning. So they had first and third. And, uh, <laughs> can join the rest of us with the optimism to right field, and that one is going to get down. Leadoff hitters getting on base here tonight. That's the nine hitter, Bo Jordan. Remember, he was stuck at home on a caught stealing to end the second. So here he is in the Fregman Sunday night when the Astros and Red Sox play. Forget second pitch. How about first pitch? And in there ahead, and he held the bag. Slid over it, kept it with his left foot. Stolen base for Cole Freeman. I love it. Into center field and around from third will come Freeman. He'll score in his speed. Got him a run. That's one of those things you just forget about, but his hustle down the first baseline to prevent an inning any double play got him on, got him to second with a steal and scored. On the ground a short, hit hard. There's a force there. And the got second it. baseman, Henderson, didn't get over, so Walls had to take it himself. Talk about Alex Lang, it is a bigger deal. Wild at 3-1. That's a walk to Matt Henderson. So the leadoff man on. Trainers and the doctors getting the players on the field. That one in the dirt down to second and out. What a play and a throw by Kropierski. Picked it up and threw him out quick on a one-hopper. Today, of course, the former head coach at South Carolina, now part of the committee. That one to short, and it's past the dive of Taylor Walls. Yeah, more and more you're around both the collegiate and major league games, you realize just how quickly many players. That's a jam shot, and this is what Holton does well. Fields to second, double play. Oh, wow. Heck of a read by Holton and Henderson over there, the second baseman. And his arm strong. Staten scored in two of them. That, there he goes. Back up the middle. Oh, and it gets underneath the glove of Kramer Robertson. And now first and third. Robertson almost ran right into that ball. And it was stung. I don't know if he saw it. We watched the action. That one's in the hole. Fielded, and the long throw to first. Safe at first. RBI. Infield hit. Quincy Niporte for 2 FSU. That's a really good piece of hitting. Yep. That's a curveball that hasn't been hit down in the zone. One, two, double play ball. Freeman, Robertson, got it. Big helper. It could have been a lot worse. It just, oh, yes, he will. And that ball is hammered deep to left. Way back and say goodbye. Michael Papierski gets into it for LSU, and just like that, a 1-1 game. They're jumping on the first pitch, guys. That's exactly what they're doing, jumping on that first pitch. Leadoff hitter of, of the inning, again, Pitch right down the middle. Holt try, Holton trying to get ahead so he can use that changeup, but this is a true 14 fastball. The Tigers making the adjustment. Papierski's ninth home run. And a you throw him that changeup down and out of the zone. I just don't think he can get to it. Throw him that one, he's got a chance. Well, not when it's hit out there. Flowers reels it in. Father's Day here at the College World Series. Top six, first pitch swinging, line drive to right, it gets down. And for Florida State, another leadoff hitter is on. That's, that's guess what? Wells on the ground, double play ball. Robertson flips, Freeman, another one. It hurts. I'm telling you, I came here twice. It's a tough one. Excellent inning for Tyler Holt, and he picks up two more strikeouts. He's got five, nine, one, and two as we head to the seventh. The Look out, almost hit him, 0-2. Did it get him? It did. Papierski was... 
Hoping he wouldn't call that a hit this afternoon. Pitch to Busby, 2-1. Fair ball, check to third, throw to first. Good speed to third. Good throw. Out at third, what a throw to nail. The speedy J.C. Flowers. Another double play for LSU. The old 5-3-5 double play. You see that one every day. Keeps it a one-run ball game. 3-1. Ball four. Coombs has reached three times. So he's been a superstar at the plate and just was. Look for a fast uh, change up up. Got one, line one in the center field. That's going to get down in front of Flowers. And Slaughter holds at second base. That right there is a great piece of hitting. He'll just do it himself. 5-4-3 double play, and they had a man, Papierski, in motion. ...are getting in more games. That's a line drive, and that's going to get down. Cal Raleigh picks up his first hit of the night. Award winner presented with the trophy today. Finalist for the Golden Spikes. Up the middle, easy play for Robertson. It's a pretty good week when you can do that. Yep. Poche solid. Tigers, big chance. Maybe coming up with one, two, and three. Beaten off the glove, and that's going to allow... Freeman to reach base. There may have been a play for the shortstop, Trevor Walls, oh, yeah. but Holton got a glove on it. Four from Louisiana. Hits it hard and through into right field. Wells puts the brakes on it second. It gets by the right fielder. Runners in scoring position. Wells breaks for home. Here's your throw. Dropped it off and we're tied. Down to third base goes to Plantis. It's Freeman and his speed. I called him Wells. Freeman speed was the difference again for LSU as they tie it up. Misplays in right field and by the catcher for Florida State. Allowed Cole Freeman to score all wow. the way from first. This is huge. There could be three errors on this. That's one right there. The second one on the throw, it getting away. The runner going home there are and then the throw. Right here, you catch right. at home plate. You have to be able to make that play. There'll be two errors instead of three. Yeah. But either which way, wow. Florida State giving away runs. Guys, think of the way that LSU has scored runs today. Yeah, okay? it's unbelievable. A strikeout and a guy scores from first base on a ball that gets away. And what now should be runners on first and second with one. Waits on one. It's through into right field. And Dykeman gives LSU the lead. Antoine Duplant to scores the fifth run, and the Tigers have come all the way back. I, I, I know he's calm. Strike three there, but I understand where Kyle's going. He got no a doubt. great start from a starting pitcher. They bang. Jared Poche, who's been a star. They've had a lot of them, but Florida State not done yet in the top of the ninth. Little leadoff single. And Matt Henderson is aboard in the seventh spot. Base a couple of times against Sam Houston State and the Supers. Oh, call strike three. Big strikeout for Jared Poche on the corner with a breaking ball. Did he go? Call strike three. Here we go again with the ball getting away from the catcher. First base was not moving. So the batter is out. This is a little different case. First base was occupied on that strike three. In the other case, it was not. Yeah, that looked like it. So a ball four. Oh, Ooh. he got him. He caught him looking. And what a job by the freshman Zach Hess. He freezes Busby and LSU. Comes back in big fashion and wins the opener 5-4 over Florida State.